Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Spoilers. There are spoilers for Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves in this content. So, Dungeons & Dragons in Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves, in my opinion, is the next cinematic universe, right? Uh, the DC Cinematic Universe is completely dead, uh, killed by Dwayne, sadly, by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Uh, of course, there was a huge amount of damage that was done before him, but he absolutely put the, you know, he, he, he dropped the camel. Um, he made sure that this thing just fell over, right? Um, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's done. But, um, Star Wars is having massive problems. Harry Potter is having massive problems, right? Uh, Fast and Furious is doing extremely well. That one is still up and running. But the but the reality is, oh, and the Lord of the Rings cinematic universe hasn't existed for 15 years, right? And so the reality is there's this perfect opportunity for the Dungeons and Dragons cinematic universe to spin up. So how are you going to do that? How are you going to p- compete? Well, I think there's a lot. Uh, we really have a lot to thank Goldstein and Daly. Uh, Daly and Goldstein. They are the directors of this film, and they did something absolutely brilliant in this film that I thought was really cool. Um, and that is the restoration of the lightsaber battle. All right. So lightsaber battles are extremely expensive, right? Like Jedi are expensive. Every time they get on the uh, every time they get on the screen, it literally costs millions of dollars, right? So, but Star Wars has lightsaber battles, and they are absolutely amazing, right? They they really are the best thing in any cinematic universe, period, end of sentence, right? That's what you, you come to a cinematic universe to be inspired, to see amazing things. And there is nothing more amazing than seeing um, uh, lightsaber battles. Now, recently in uh, in Star Wars, um, there were uh, very, very good um, lightsaber battles in all three of the trilogy scenes of the sequel trilogy movies, but that was a bridge to nowhere. I think uh, the first film, I think, you know, the first film was good, second film was good, um, and the third film in the tr- sequel trilogy, um, it wasn't The Last Jedi, uh, Rise of Skywalker, was absolute garbage, right? So so the reality is, you have these, these you know, lightsaber battles, but they didn't matter because they were... A, junk trilogy that, that couldn't stick the landing, right? So, here's this opportunity, and Dungeons and Dragons has, like, how are they going to do lightsabers? Well, I think Daly and Goldstein did it perfect, right? So, let me explain. So, one, where are the light, where are the lightsaber fights that don't happen? First of all, they've established a D&D cinematic universe where you can have a normal sword fight. You actually can't have that in, in anywhere in Star Wars. There's no normal sword fights in Star Wars. But you could have that in Dungeons and Dragons, right? And the, the way you would you would have that is you would have um, two people fight with swords, uh, which actually does not happen in D and D Honor Among Thieves, which I thought was interesting. Um, you would have two people fight with swords, and that can just be a normal, low monetary low monetary cost fight, which is cool because sword fights are cool. But when you want to have a lightsaber battle, right? You can have it. We saw one in D and D Honor Among Thieves. There is straight up a lightsaber battle in D and D Honor Among Thieves. Where does it happen? It happens when Zenk Yendar um, fights the leader of the Thean Assassins, Dallas. Right? I'm sorry, Dallin. Right? All right. So he fights Dallin, and Dallin is an undead. He is. He is a person who dies, and then it, he, I think he's living. I don't think he's undead, right? And from Thay and Power, when he is killed, he literally is immediately resurrected, right? He's, uh, yeah, resurrected, right? Because they actually are killed, right? Um, but Thay and Assassin, Dalin, has a, green, has a sword that has a green necro flame on it. And every time he swings it, it looks exactly like uh, it looks like a lightsaber that caught on for that it looks like a, a lightsaber that's giving off fumes right and it looks amazing and then on the other side of that fight is Zenk Endar who is using his dagger sword which is a blessed consecrated weapon 
right? That he can use to smite, right? And so with that, um, it's really cool. And the fight, and, and it lights up gold when he's fighting. And so when the Thean assassin is fighting the human wizard, uh, I'm, I, I'm sorry, excuse me. When the Thean assassin is using his magical weapon, which has necro, green necro flame all over it, right? He is fighting Zenk Yendar, the human paladin, the lawful good human paladin, and his magic weapon glows gold. And what you see is a fully functional lightsaber duel right in the middle of a fantasy movie. That is awesome. And that is really going to get, it's going to, it's going to give a foot up, right, for Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves to actually catch the Star, the Star Wars Cinematic Universe, which is still functioning, right? It is still there, right? Only the DC, I think, only DC has really lost any claim to having a cinematic universe. Um, but, um, and then, you know, and, and really there's nothing like the, the, uh, lightsaber fights within Harry Potter, but I really think people have a desire to see lightsaber fights again and they don't feel they can get it from, from, from Star Wars. Star Wars almost never puts Jedi in any of their material, right? Andor didn't have them. Mandalorian didn't have any. Uh, Boba Fett didn't have any. Obi-Wan did. That was cool. And there was some heck of good lightsaber fights in there. But generally, when you're looking at Star Wars, you're not seeing good story and or uh, and good lightsaber fights, right? And Although I really did like Obi-Wan. That, that was really good. And it had some good lightsaber fights in there. But I think there's a desire to see lightsaber fights again. And that desire is going to be fulfilled by the new Dungeons & Dragons cinematic universe. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion. Do you agree? Do you think that uh, Goldstein and Daly were specifically putting this in there so that they could essentially have lightsaber fights in a fantasy setting? Uh, which, frankly, we didn't get to see anything like that in Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.